They get you coming and going on price. Holy smokes, let's hope this works. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Our yeah. Get it, get it. What do you think, Michael? We're taking the on-cloud flash shoes out for the first time. These arrived, I think, over a month ago, and I've just been waiting for the right moment to try them, and, you know, it's been snowing here a lot, so this is On's, uh, one of On's racers, and I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Uh, all right. Got to get laced up here, Michael. Come on, Michael. Come on. Like I said, inside with Michael, these arrived about a month ago. The weather, the uh, just wearing other shoes, trying out other shoes for all of you. It, I just haven't had a chance to take them out. So today, first impressions on Cloud Flash, 10 miles. Uh, I'll do probably a little bit of dirt, but I'm gonna stay mostly on pavement. These are definitely road shoes for sure. And we'll give you my thoughts on it. I tell you what, lacing them up right now, I'm kind of intrigued, okay? I'll give you my thought, but like, Walking around the house just the last five minutes. Hmm. Fascinating. All right. Let's go. Okay, here's my first steps. I always like to film my gut reaction of my face as to how the shoes feel in the first 100 meters of running. Let's go. Get to these guys in a minute. Oh, I love that color. You know I do, but first gotta finish the foam. A little more foam to hang up in here, and then yes, that cord, where'd it go? Gonna test this guy out. Oh, baby, man. Let's do this. Okay, last foam for the shoe deal. I think we're gonna put one right up there, right up there. It did not work. It did not work. It didn't work. And guess what? That's okay. We'll keep trying. If you're a live streaming expert out there, let me know. I'm trying to use a Canon 5D uh, to connect it to my MacBook Pro. And it's just, and I'm using Ecamm as the live streaming software. Oh, well, not going to stress about it. Just move on. I can't put any more time into it today. Maybe we'll keep troubleshooting moving forward. Okay, diving into your thoughts about, remember yesterday's question of the day was all about what questions do you have for me about how to run faster? So here's a couple examples uh, examples of what's coming in stride length that actually popped up quite a bit people are wondering like how to imp improve or increase your stride length running form interval training for marathons increasing one's endurance uh beginner running speed work so if you're newer to running like when to introduce it to your uh, to your overall training uh that that actually came up a couple times and then how to get faster for the half and full marathon so thank you 
We're going to tackle these questions. Not now, but uh, I would say over the next four weeks, four to six weeks, I will hone in on some of these topics. And I love it. And I love the thought about um, running form. And I think there's a lot there for all of us for getting better at running in 2019, working on our form. And let's move on to the On Cloud Flash. And just so you know, if you're looking for this shoe online, they com it, Cloud Flash is all one word. That took me a minute to figure that out. So it's all one word for the On Cloud Flash. A few initial specs. Five millimeter drop from heel to toe, an engineered mesh on the upper, very, very breathable, very, I can tell it's like really well constructed. Even though I've had some issues with on uppers in the past, you remember when I tore that on shoe maybe about six weeks ago? And actually, I don't know the official weight for my size. Let's weigh it right now. Come on. There we go, 193 grams, 6.8 ounces. Not too shabby, not too shabby. That's pretty lightweight, and I must say, when I put it on my feet uh, inside the house this morning, I was like, okay, this is a racer for sure, definitely a road shoe. One first impression that I would like to give is that I could feel the laces on the top of my feet. It wasn't painful, not like the Vimero 14, but I could just feel them, and this tongue on the On Cloud Flash is very, very thin. Very thin. Um, it's one of the, th the most like thinner tongues I've ever seen, actually. It almost looks like a track spike as far as the tongue, and so I can feel the laces on the top of my feet. So if you don't like that feeling, if you know what I'm saying, like if you like a little more padding, uh, even in a racing shoe, this probably, you probably would not enjoy how this tongue feel, how the laces feel on the top of your feet. That definitely jumped out at me as soon as I put the shoes on. Walking around in the house, uh, they felt good. I did feel a little bit, so the whole on lineup is built on this cloud technology where these little uh, clouds of rubber are on the outsole and sure enough, like through the midfoot, you have a little break in the clouds and so I did notice a little bit today, it, it went away probably at about mile two or three, but that first two or three miles, I could feel this row of clouds right where the midfoot is beginning to approach the forefoot. Was it a major deal? No, but I noticed it as I was running like, okay, I can sense a little bit of a gap there in the clouds and I will, I'll do a little more research, a little more testing as to why they left probably because of weight. They want to make this shoe as light as possible because it is a racing shoe. And in the on clouds for my first run today, 10 miles, 16 kilometers, about 710 per mile. So, oh gosh, 445 a kilometer, approximately 430, 445 a kilometer approximately. So not too fast. Today was a little more of a mellow day in my training schedule, but uh, it felt like I was slapping my foot on the pavement the last two miles like it is a hard landing okay and i real like this is not a training shoe and i knew that going into the run it's definitely a racing shoe but i it's it's a little bit of a hard landing and maybe if you're an on fan maybe you could talk to me down in the comments about what the what you're experiencing and it's not like i think for racing yeah good cr ground contact feel uh through the outsole like i felt today like okay i can really feel the road and and make a good uh toe off so a toe off is where you're you're rolling through your your cadence and your your foot strike and then boom you're towing off really nice toe off feel in this outsole rubber however it's just a hard landing compared to it seems like every other shoe and I've, I've noticed that in some other on shoes as well and you're probably wondering about the distance not a marathon shoe okay I think we probably would all agree on that and I would say probably not even a half marathon shoe now I guarantee there's people out there racing half marathons and marathons in this shoe and that's fine I think after, and this is just my first impression, not my full review, just my first impression, 10K. This feels like a great 10K shoe. Not a 5K, there's lighter options out there for the 5K, but as I was going, I was like, okay, I could see my legs 
uh, withstanding kind of the less cushion feel for six miles. 10 miles, 13 miles, eh, I don't know. Probably once again, there's better options out there. But for the 10K, uh, I, I think that's where this guy lives. And the 5K, again, I just think the 5K is short enough that you can go like really lightweight and, and go all out and just let it rip. Whereas the 10K, you need a little more uh, sustenance to the shoe. There you have it. That is my first impression of the On Cloud Flash. And listen, in the running shoe world, I like innovation. I like taking risks and you see what works and you see what doesn't. And I feel like in the last, even just in the last 10 years, we've like, since I was in college, we've come so far with different types of shoes. Um, uh, sometimes it's a little, it's a little overwhelming and on is a good example of and uh, you know, a gentleman in Switzerland having an idea and going for it. And I don't know yet. I'm reserving my my full thoughts for the full review. Um, I just, you know, anyway, like I'm not bullish on the on lineup at this point. You know what I mean? I'm not incredibly excited, but I do appreciate the innovation, the uh, creativity, and testing the limits and seeing what works and what does not work. Does that make sense? Okay, thanks for watching, but guess what? The vlog's not over. I'm actually going inside, packing up my gear for, yes, an early morning run in the Innovate Arctic Claw 300. That's right, a bright and early morning tomorrow, so I gotta go pack. I think somebody was talking to each other when it came up to the colorway, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. That is pretty amazing. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's go inside, pack it up. It's official. I need a bigger vest. This is a three liter from Raid Light. It's looking like I'm gonna need at least a five liter to continue carrying filming equipment, cold weather running. Like in the summer, this will be perfect, but in the winter, you just have extra clothing that you have to carry for safety. And so three liter is not cutting it. Just putting that out there for everybody. are organized true love what's going Hi. on for dinner oh just a little oh, just spaghetti and meatballs basically or for a lot whatever bow ties and meatballs hello a little vegetable uh -huh. yeah yep. we always um do a crock pot and something on thursdays oh there we go so boom throw it all in michael loves it fueling tomorrow's big run oh, fueling tomorrow's big run. that's that's perfect perfect, perfect timing and Michael has a little cucumber here. If you're new to the channel, by the way, in addition to running, we're also just living life here. We're also just living life here. Did you wash yourself? Yes! Cucumber. So, life is uh, exciting and beautiful. Exciting and beautiful. All right, let's get this table ready. You know what the mission is? Can you say the key word for today? Flash! Yeah, for the on cloud flash shoes. Thank you, buddy. Oh, YouTube family, delicious dinner. About to put the boys down, but not before the question of the day. All right, here we go. Stretching the boundaries a little bit, something a little unique. What question of the day? What is something that you love to do outside of running okay and i know it's i we always talk about running here but what is for me you know what it is charcoal grill in the summertime i love sitting on the patio for two hours three hours four hours just low and slow cooking chicken uh, steak burgers all that good stuff so that's the question of the day what is something outside of running that you enjoy doing thanks for hitting it up down below Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Oh, good mountain day tomorrow. Come back from that in the Innovate Arctic Claws. All right, here we go. Come on. Boys, you ready for bed? No. No, they say.